Marshall, Subway famous fan and Emmy Award winning actor, best known for his role as Kevin Malone on The Office, Brian Baumgartner. Race fans, are you ready? This is not a golf tournament. I said, are you ready? Oh yeah. The sound you want to hear right there it is the Jonathan Taylor Thomas series here at the Dover International Speedway. Chris Scallop here in the booth Where'd with you live as uh, we're going to run down here and talk to the drivers real quickly here to uh, get started. Hey drivers, want to welcome you into the United Sim Racing Championship here at the Dover International Speedway. Tonight going to do 80 laps in uh, what has been titled Superman versus the Monster 80. Uh, thanks to Richard Schwint for sponsoring uh, the race. Wanted to put a little creativity behind it with it being the monster. So uh, going to do 80 laps coming up here again. Uh, cautions are on. Uh, as you know, a little bit uh, modification here uh, with this series. Uh, obviously leader, start on green for the start. Restarts at your own uh, risk. So uh, basically start whenever you want to. Uh, enter on the backstretch, please. Leader, leader does have lane choice. Uh, again, as you know, as the modification that happened in the middle of the week last week, we decided to go back to the NASCAR standings uh, for this series, so make sure you are aware of that also uh, for, obviously, the standard NASCAR points are on the line. So, races being broadcast live, usrconline.com or twitch.tv slash racesonlytv. you got the two options there, or you can even go to simracingauthority.com uh, to watch the race. So, uh, good luck in the uh, race. Uh, wish you guys nothing but the best, and congratulations, Mr. Cheney and the old-school Hardy's car in the pole. That's not Wilms. I had it first. All right, here they are rolling off. Time an old school uh, former broadcasting as the uh, IRTVOs are still giving issues and fits to us, unfortunately, uh, with the new build. Uh, so I got to go through this format here to still get the pole and uh, qualifying and stuff, which is totally fine. Bobby Cheney wins the pole 24 5 4 6. Uh, Tyler Ducharme going to start in second. Brett Pankari going to start in third. My good friend Douglas Beard there going to start in fourth. Yes, that's the same Douglas I talk about who does the uh, cameras for us. That is Douglas. Kressel going to start in fifth. Uh, Wyatt Harrison going to start sixth. Richard Schwint starting seventh. Jordan Malish looks like half these guys will start uh, in the back. Cisna going to start tenth. Connor Anton, Fish, Wilms, Garrett, Yates, Dixon, Moore, and Pops. Uh, not sure how many of them are going to start in the end, but we will find out here. Very shortly. Going to do 80 laps around this one-mile oval. So guess what? It's 80 miles. Do the math. Should be fun to see. Bobby Chaney, Tyler Ducharme going to lead him to the pole here at Dover. And the monster, it is Superman versus the monster 80 here at Dover. Rolling good, Franny. Rolling good. Couple people spinning in tires, otherwise fairly clean start. <laughs> Off turn four, Bobby Cheney gonna lead the first lap. Battles back here is for third. That's Pancari on the inside in the 19 of Douglas Beard, who's gonna take the spot away. Oh, and here comes the lead. Ducharme going to the front. Should be a relatively quick race here. Looks like 17 starters when it's all said and done. There's third, there's fourth, fifth. First side-by-side -side battles, Connor Anton and Richard Schwint. And Jason Garrett going to come along into 73, so move him up a spot. Seventh and uh, eighth, I believe that is. They're actually sixth and seventh, I should say. Schwint back to the eighth spot. The 12, Matthew Cisna. Already three laps in here at Dover. Not sure how long they're going to go on a tank of fuel. Obviously only 40% fuel in these cars. Look at a tight battle up here in the front. There's a 13 jumping out of line. Pancari under attack. That's Caressel, the lucky number 13 car. Give it to him.
Went. Oh, look at Bano back here. The 64 wide hair centers pops. And the other Hardy's car of James Wilms. Oh, we got dueling Hardy's here. Hardy har har. And then back here, Gene Yates in the 31. Kevin O'Brien, the 84. And then uh, who's that? And, uh, Steve Dixon, double zero. The uh, Smirnoff Vodka car battling out here. And then Andy Moore back here in the 33 car. Back to the front, Ducharme, your leader. The battle for third. There's Caruso underneath Beard. And move him up to third. Appreciate you guys watching us here at For Racers Only TV as we uh, are in the middle of season number two. This is race number two here at Dover of the season of the first ever JTT series. Honor Anton looking underneath Beard. Beard shuts the door a little bit on him. Honor Anton on the move. Started uh, back in the middle of the pack and has worked his way. Oh, Garrett smacks the wall hard. That's going to leave a mark. As Anton looks underneath Beard. And takes his spot away. Ducharme with about a four-tenths of a second lead over Bobby Cheney, Caruso third. As I mentioned, Beard there at fourth, and Connor Anton, they're actually the change forward away from Beard. Obviously adjusting to the uh, new graphics on the screen, as you see. Still got some modifications to do to it, but other than that, uh, it's been very good to uh, work with. On board with Connor Anton here as he is in the fourth position looking after Caruso. The pole sitter from last week, Connor Anton, winning the first ever pole in this series, finishing second to Marcus Richardson in a pretty exciting race. That's all two cautions in the end. Connor leading 16 out of the 40 laps. Marcus leading 21 in that race. Marcus actually not here tonight. But they do get the three drops in the series, of course, per usual. But you can see how tricky this uh, track is here at Dover. Just went back here by himself in the 55. Here's the 64 of Harrison, the 11 of Wilms. Back here, the 12 of Cisna. He's falling back a little bit. Looks like your best battle on the track up here towards the front for third, fourth. Here's fifth and sixth, Pankari and Beard battling it out. We'll have to see what kind of tire strategies come into play for this race. Obviously, 40% uh, fuel. Normally, you can go probably 70 to 80 laps on the tank of fuel. 50% of 80 is 40. 40% be about lap 30 or so, 35. So uh, look for them in about the next 15, 20 laps on pit road. Uh, getting these tires replaced and uh, getting their tank of fuel to try to get to the finish on one stop. Charm leading another lap. Cheney chasing him down right there, just kind of riding in the Hardy's car. Getting closer. Bano Chevy Camaros. The Elliott Henderson Graphic 69 and the Hardy number 99 of Bobby Cheney. Down into one. Not the only battle on the track is Caruso and Anton battle for third. Oh, Ducharme back at the wall. Back here you see Pancari's gotten by Beard. That's for fourth. Make that fifth. And Garrett trying to make the move into 73.
Gare getting a little loose off the corner. Schwentz starting to make his moves in here. Harrison and Wilms still battling back here, about a half straightaway back from the pack. This is the ninth and tenth positions. I think it's the first time I've ever seen James Wilms in a car outside of Cheetos. Looking up at the top here is who had the quickest lap so far. It looks like Cheney about a tenth of or so faster last time by over to Charm. Gressel even a couple tenths faster than himself. And everybody pretty close together, 25 second laps. As I see smoke. But no caution it appears. Everybody looks like okay. Eighty-four, Kevin O'Brien with some heavy damage. Thirty-three with some damage. And here come your leaders, going to work their way through lap traffic. Holy cow! Do we have a sighting of Marcia Edney in the stream? Caresso, there's Anton. Pancari. Back here, Garrett's gone by beer. Here comes Richard Schwint, Superman. Superman going to try to dive it underneath beer here, see if he can do it. That's a battle for the sixth position. Make that seventh. Beard way up the track and let Superman go. So obviously, these cars starting to really get tight as they work their way to the pit stop. Might work through the lap traffic. Steve Dixon, double zero, going to let him go. Good move here by the lap traffic. Everybody get out of the way. Oh, almost some contact there. Go Brian and Pops. Bisharm got to find somewhere to go here. It looks like. Let's see what Cheney does here. See if he tries to take advantage. O'Brien's going to, oh, Pops nails the wall. Looks like everybody evasive action. O'Brien going up in the wall to get out of the way. Here comes Cisna now. He's going to be next cargo lap down. Lap traffic playing a role here and early in this row. Cheney to the apron. That could have been bad. And you got one car on pit road. Jordan Malish to 94 in. Uh, I'm assuming it's a scheduled sc uh, stop for the 94. Also, Wyatt Harrison coming to pit road. Here comes the 64 in. It, this is going to be troublesome, too, this pit road. And you see the leaders going by already. Connor Anton coming to pit road. A very long pit road at 35 mile an hour. And green flag pit stop starting here at lap number 28. Let's see what everybody does here. Looks like four tires and fuel for everyone. And pulling away. Meanwhile, Ducharme has led the most laps so far in this race. Him and Cheney have been the only two leaders in this. We take a look at your uh, race analysis so far, you see. Only one lead change, but no caution so far in this race. But that could easily change, especially during these green flag pit stops as Anton comes off pit road.
Usharm, Chaney, Caressel, Brett Pancari, and Jason Garrett, your top five right now. And all the way back here to Richard Schwinn, who's in the sixth position. Douglas Beard back there in seventh. Wilms up to the eighth position. As Pops on pit road, the Florida State car. Probably getting some damage fixed. On board with the Camaro of Bobby Cheney. And Ducharme's going to try to get to pit road. And he did. So the leader comes to pit road. Lap number 32, Tyler Ducharme in. Now Pancari entering the pit, Jason Garrett on pit road. Four tires for the 69. And he pulls away. Here comes some more of the leaders. Wilms on pit road, Gene Yates in. Green flag pit stops. So this will turn into a two stop race it appears. Garrett out of his pit stall, and Bobby Cheney, I believe, is coming to pit road here. That or Caruso's taking the lead, one of the two. I believe we got a new leader. I'm going to jump out here on the track and find it. He's car, hardy har har. Again, if you want to, oh, we got one car to miss pit road. Douglas Beer did, I believe. Oh, tough break for Doug. Oh, hate to see that happen to him. And he might be out of fuel. Oh, my man. That's a bummer. Good to see him out here. Doug, and as I've talked about before, the cameras you see us using here for races only TV and stuff, that is all him. He does all that work for me, and, and I just can't help but tell him thank you. He did lead a lap, by the way, there. Uh, but thank you very much for him helping us out with that. And, of course, Douglas and I are going to be racing tomorrow night uh, in the Noble Motorsport Truck Series. It's going to lose a lot of valuable time, unfortunately. There he is, and I think he's out of fuel, so he's trying to get it back. O'Brien, the only other car on pit road, and we should cycle back around as we look for the leader. I'm thinking it's going to be Tyler Ducharme. It is Ducharme. But we do have a new second-place man. You look right there in the rear. Connor Anton has moved up to second. Got about a one-second lead over Connor Anton. Bobby Cheney up to third. He's about six seconds back. Caressel in fourth, about 6.5 back. All green flags so far in this race.
upcoming schedule for us here at For Racers Only TV. Actually, coming up after this race, uh, for those who are interested um, in the truck series, uh, we are going to put up a practice session because uh, iRacing does not have fixed setups out for Martinsville as Carrasco hits the wall. Uh, because of that, we've had to come up with our own setup for Martinsville on Thursday, so we're actually going to put that to work for the drivers. They can go practice at Martinsville for two hours coming up here after this race. And then we'll come back tomorrow, and we'll have the uh, Noble Motorsport race from uh, Charlotte, and I'll be uh, driving the number eight truck. You can come watch me and cheer me on there at uh, 8.30 tomorrow night. Thursday, 7 o'clock, race number two of the truck series in by Outlaw Motorsports. Again, full distance races and a full schedule as we run 250 laps around the Martinsville half mile uh, paperclip that is. So you come join us for that 7 o'clock for practice uh, about 7.45 of the race here on For Races Only TV. And then Friday we'll have a whole bunch of racing coming up as we'll make up the uh, series of races for Sim Racing Authority. As a matter of fact, we might actually get one in tomorrow, so definitely uh, follow us on Facebook as we'll try to get the Gen 6 race in from Kentucky. And then following that, uh, I'll run an oval race. And then Friday, we'll have both the truck and Gen 6 race from last week. All right, we'll take you to a full field rundown to see where everybody's running here real quickly. Tyler Ducharme is your leader. He has got about 1.5 seconds on Connor Anton. Bobby Chaney, 5.1 back in third. He's actually faster than the leader. Carrasco fourth. And then back to fifth, which is Brett Pancari. Jason Garrett running in the sixth position right there. Richard Schwinton, seventh. Uh, James Wilms right there in the eighth position right now. Uh, Wyatt Harrison going to be in tenth. Looking for Wyatt, looking for Wyatt, looking for Wyatt. There's Wyatt way back here. He's the first car lap down, actually. Douglas Beard back in 11th. He had those issues on pit road. Looking for Doug. Nah, Doug's out there somewhere. Look for the 85, blue car. There he is. Douglas there in the 85, running 11th. Kevin O'Brien in 12th. There's Kevin right there behind him. That's a battle for position. Gene Yates in 13th. Gene driving the 31 car. Gene, I believe, now two laps down. There's Gene right there. Pops in 14th. Pops right there in the Florida State car. Matthew Cisna in the 12. He is 15th. There's Matt right there. Getting passed by Wilms. Steve Dixon in the double zero. Oh, I heard somebody shutting off their fuel. Hmm. Steve in 16th and Andy Moore in 17th. Every car that started the race is still on track. No cautions so far in this race six lead changes so far Tyler Ducharme the uh, leader of the majority of laps and so far I can tell you of one car that is at least shutting off their fuel So obviously this being the second race of the season, let's talk a little bit about the upcoming schedule for the Jonathan Taylor Thomas series. Of course, uh, the B car JTT series, and this is Superman versus the Monster 80. Next week, Texas Motor Speedway for 65 laps. We'll have that coming up for you uh, next Tuesday. Following that, we'll go to New Hampshire for 70 laps. And then Road America, race number five, we're going to road course early in the schedule for 25 laps. So that's uh, your next month of racing coming up here at For Racers Only TV. Look at this. Bobby Cheney, the man on the move right here.
Bobby is catching Connor. You see Connor 3.3 back. Bobby Cheney only 4.2 seconds back. He is slowly reeling in Ducharme. And the question is, does he have enough time to get there? And Connor's coming back to pit road. Connor Anton to four coming out of second place into pit road. Four tires fuel for Connor and he's gone. Now he's gonna try to use these tire strategy to get ahead of Ducharme potentially here which isn't a bad idea. The only thing that would eat him alive is if he sped on pit road there, or two, if a caution were to come out. And Jordan Malish up in the wall. And now you see Ducharme coming up on Connor Anton here to see if these tires go to work. Wow, look at that difference. Harrison on pit road, Pops on pit road. Second round of green flag pit stops. Wilm's gonna get to pit road. Course for those not uh, familiar with Tyler Ducharme, Tyler the champion of last year's uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas Super Late Model Series, which that series has now gone by the wayside and has been replaced by this series. So uh, Tyler looking to continue his winning, except now in the B car. Twenty-two laps to go as pit stops are happening. Wilms on pit road. Here's Pops leaving pit road. Wilms getting his four tires and fuel, and he is gone. And you see Connor trying to get away from Tyler. Check on the progress of Bobby Cheney. There he is. Last time by Bobby, about a tenth or so slower. Then Ducharme, Ducharme with a 25-307, Chaney 25-491. And Chaney's going to short pit. Here he comes. Pancari following Chaney in. So let's follow Bobby Cheney's pit stop here in the 99. The pole sitter in. And Pankari beats Bobby out. I don't know if that was a two tire stop. It has to be. A little gamble here. Richard Schwent coming off pit road. He's got tires. And Ducharme to pit road. The leader in. 18 laps to go. Ooh. 
Four tires and fuel, maybe. Let's see if he does two. He does two tires. Carussell on pit road. This could be interesting. And this is why I put the short fuel mileage. Because now you got to strategize what your moves are. This is going to make it interesting. Out, cost out. Caution out. All trouble on the back straightaway. It's Dixon. Now this really changes everything. The double zero is going around. The first caution out. Dixon in a tight bind, and oh, the 12 hooks him. Uh, I believe that's Cisna. I got into a little bit of three wide back here with Wyatt Hairston. And Dixon had nowhere to go, unfortunately. Nails that out inside wall too. Well, that's going to make things very interesting here. As we move back up to see where everybody's shapes up catching the pace car here. The leader as the 12 car is spun around. Well, that's uh, interesting. So the leader right now, I gotta figure this all out. We got a cluster, you know what here. Where is the leader on the track, I believe? Oh, there's your leader on pit road, Jason Garrett. So Garrett is your leader. Now, some of these cars are going to be multiple laps down here. And if I'm correct, Garrett, I believe, is the la is the lead. He's the only one on the lead lap, if I'm correct. Now we'll see how this all works out with these other cars. Now, I'm not sure if Caressel's on the lead lap. I, I gotta figure this all out, who's where. This is gonna turn into something interesting. But most of the cars in the back here are coming up here road. I'm thinking the ones on the lead lap here. Let's see, Schwint's going to stay out. Wyatt Harrison going to stay out. Uh, I'm not sure if these guys are going to get wave arounds or if they're on the lead lap here. we got to figure this out. Four tires and fuel for all of them as they leave. Drivers, once again, I want to remind you, uh, and this will be the last warning, obviously, throughout the season. Uh, please do enter on the back straightaway. We will start to the black flags uh, from now on. So, obviously, we've given you guys enough warning about starting uh, or entering the back stretch off pit road. Thank you. And there go the wave arounds. Now, let's see. I don't know who's going to be on the lead lap here when it's all over with. I believe Pankari will be. I believe Cheney will be.
So everybody going to catch up here with the pack. And Jason Garrett going to be the leader. Tyler Ducharme is second. He is on the lead lap. Connor Anton third. And Brett Pancari is fourth. And Pancari was one of the first to get wave around. So these three are right here. The rest of them are towards the back. And let's see how this goes. There they go, green flag. 11 to go. Dushar pops the wall. Him and Connor got to evade and Garrett to the lead. One car up against the wall on the outside. Lance O'Brien as Schwint comes down pit road. Don't know why Schwentz in, but we got a battle for the lead. Douglas, or uh, not Douglas, Ducharme. To the front. Connor Anton to second. Oh, everybody hitting the wall now. And here comes Caressel, who is a lap down in sixth. Looking for that caution to get back on the lead lap. Check back here on these uh, cars. There's... Pancari, who's working his way through the field. And Cheney has actually gotten ahead of Pancari. I must have missed Cheney. There's Bobby right there in the 99. Up to fourth, and he is trying to catch these three. Look at him right there. He started to tail into the field here. Five to go here at Dover. Superman versus the Monster 80 here at the Monster Mile. Who is going to conquer it? You see a race analysis, 11 lead changers, one caution, four laps. Not a bad race so far here as we try to make it to the finish. Looks like Garrett's starting to fall back. Cheney trying to get there. He's going to run out of time, I think, to try to win this thing, but still a good top four for him as we're at two to go. Connor Anton trying to get to Tyler. Gets a run off of two. White flag this time by. Who's going to win it? Connor going to try to get the run off of two.
I don't think he's going to be able to get it. A dominant performance by Tyler Ducharme. He's going to win here at Dover. Ducharme second, Garrett third, Bobby Chaney fourth, and Brett Pancari going to be your top five. And a uh, very entertaining race. Thanks. Tyler Ducharme, Chris Scott in the booth. Get a copy. 10-4. A lot of strategy in that race. Uh, wow. A lot of strategy in that race in the end. And obviously you're able to get the uh, win there in the 69. Yeah, it was a good race. Uh, a lot better than I expected it to be. Um, yeah, I think we had a good strategy there until that caution came out. And then, you know, it all went out the window there. And came down and got four tires and pulled off on it. We'll talk about that last caution. Uh, obviously, uh, the caution coming out right in the middle of pit stops. You took two tires. Uh, how much did that affect your strategy? Well, I knew if um, it went green the whole way, I was going to get it because I think the tires are the way to go on the last stop, four and first, two and a second, because this new build, I think two tires is better than four on a long run. So, you know, it was fun. Congratulations, getting your first win uh, this series. Obviously, uh, go ahead and send your shout out to whoever you'd like to. Um, I think SRA Motorsports, um, Gilmore Home Centers, Down with Construction. You guys are putting the traits on. It's fun. Well, congratulations. Jason Garrett, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Big man, nice run there in the uh, 73, getting yourself a third. Yeah, I got lucky on that caution, just caught it. It came out right when I was heading for pit road. Well, not necessarily lucky. I mean, you were running top five, top six most of the race. Obviously, the car was there for you. Yeah, I was trying to make that uh, exit of the corner wall move a little bit the whole race. Though. <laughs> Well, still a nice job. Send a shout out to whoever you'd like to. I just want to thank you and the guys. Third. Bobby Cheney, you got a copy? Yeah, Tim. Well, Bobby showed a lot of speed out there in that 99 tonight, starting on the pole in that last run. Uh, definitely was catching the leaders before the pit stops, and, of course, you uh, came from the back of the pack uh, after that restart and got up to fourth. Yeah, we were uh, – the, the car was running well. I mean, I think we had something for Tyler. I, I could have passed him at any time there in that first run, but it was just a matter of riding, get through a lot of traffic. I got doored. He had to check up, and I ran the back of him once, and then a lap car doored me going into one. So I had some right side damage, but it didn't really affect it that much. And that caution killed us up there at the end because that had to take the wave, and they all got the pit. So. But, you know, we'll take a fourth place, I guess. It's the best we could have done. Well, nice job for you to start the uh, season, and uh, congratulations and shout out to whoever you'd like to. Uh, you and your dad for putting this league on, a lot of fun, and you for broadcasting, and all my, all my boys are in SRA, and uh, everybody race tonight. It was, it was fun. All right, well, nice job, Bobby. Uh, drivers who are still here, uh, we are putting up a practice session here in a few minutes for Martinsville, so uh, definitely stick around for that. All right, let's take a look at the uh, final results in uh, Dover here. Tyler Ducharme, your winner. Again, Connor Anton second, Jason Garrett third, Bobby Chaney fourth, Brett Pancari fifth, uh, Caresso Beard, Wilms, Wyatt Harrison, Gene H, your top ten. Schwint finishing 11th, O'Brien, Malish, Cisna, Pops, Andy Moore, and uh, Steve Dixon, your 17 finishers in this race. 11 lead changes, one caution for four laps, so definitely a really clean race and a lot of uh, lead changes, so definitely a great race to uh, be a part of here at Dover. So 
Uh, other than that, it's going to wrap it up here from the Dover International Speedway. Hopefully you do, uh, did enjoy your, the race. Uh, of course, uh, next time we'll be on the air will be tomorrow night as I run the Noble Motorsports Truck Series uh, with my friend Douglas, and we'll uh, race for uh, Team 8 or 80 as uh, we uh, go for – uh, the first race of the season. Now you can watch it here on For Races Only TV. Is Ron board my number eight truck. So definitely uh, stick around for that tomorrow. Thursday, back on the air from Martinsville for the uh, Truck Series presented by Outlaw Motorsports. Uh, that will be coming up at 7.30 uh, or so. We should actually about 7. I don't have anything Thursday. So we should be on the air right about 7 o'clock. So until then, thanks to Richard Schwent for sponsoring the race. Of course, this was the Superman versus uh, the Monster 80. Appreciate that. Also, Jonathan Thomas for sponsoring the series, the JTT series. Appreciate all the racers coming out. You, the viewers, appreciate you watching. Until then, have a great rest of your Tuesday night. Thanks. Yo, you know every time you come home, you got the merch something. Stop! It's the motherfucking brave man. Yeah, Harlem is back. Yes. Who in the world want a problem with that? Come on, real. I heard Harlem is back. You know we had to do Who in the world it. want a problem with that? Come on. Yeah, Harlem is back. Yes. Who in the world want a problem with that? Come on, real. I heard Harlem is back. You know we had to do Who in the world want a problem with that? I said my niggas don't dance. We just pull up a pants and do the rock away. Uh, now lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Come on. I said my niggas don't.